Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is all about NAS, or Network Attached Storage. If you need to keep your data safe, you want to keep it all in one place, you do want Network Attached Storage. However, not all consumer drives out there are ideal for NAS operation. Today's episode is going to focus on the WD Red Series drives, which are all new and pretty much the perfect choice for your network RAID storage. <laughs> Reason number one to choose a WD Red drive is the quality of the components. Now, consumer drives, that is to say greens, blues, and blacks, use a certain bin of drive. That is to say, they have a certain quality of platter, they have a certain amount of self induced vibration, whereas red drives and RE drives, their enterprise drives, use the very highest quality bin drives. What that means is you've got a longer mean time between failure for these drives of 1 million hours, and you've also got a three-year warranty as opposed to a two-year warranty on the consumer drives. Now the vibration factor here, they've got 3D active balancing. Vibration is an issue for regular desktop drives, but not as much so because normally you're running maybe one, maybe two in a regular desktop machine. When you start putting four, five, six, eight of them next to each other in an enclosure and they're all vibrating a little bit more than they should, it can cause serious problems because there's only two to three nanometers of room for error between your read head and your platter. So anything can cause catastrophic failure when you're talking vibration. So WD Red drives use 3D active balancing in order to make sure that in every possible axis there's as little vibration as possible. The firmware also detects sudden movements and will disengage the read head to ensure that no damage is done and no data is lost. Reason number two to choose a WD Red drive is compatibility. WD validates the at the chipset level with the chipset manufacturers, that's for host bus adapters and RAID controllers, to ensure that the drive will work. They then go a step further and obtain physical NAS units from a variety of partners and test them in their own lab to ensure optimal compatibility. Now, functionality is not the same as optimal compatibility. You can have a NAS, you throw some drives in it, and it works, but it might not be optimal. So they're testing a wide variety of different things, including boot times, checking the actual commands, reading and writing to the drive to make sure nothing's going awry, doing benchmarks, uh, checking the RAID build time, corrupting it on purpose, and then seeing if it can handle it and it can re kajigger itself to be working again, as well as even validating features like hot swap. Now, speaking of hot swap and you know drives falling in and out of an array, another major thing that WD's done, especially with the RED, is they have changed the error recovery versus what you'd see on a desktop drive. In a desktop environment, the Windows standard is the drive should try for as long as it can to recover an error, whether it's a software error or a physical error, whatever the case may be, a lot of the data on a drive is ECC data that can be used to recover those errors. It can take up to a second, even over a second of trying before it pieces it back together and then it's all good. RAID controllers aren't designed that way and if they see a drive that's non-responsive for over a certain amount of time, they'll just drop them from the array because they assume there's something wrong with them. A RAID controller assumes, oh, there's some kind of a small bit error, I'll just grab it from the parity disk and I'll rebuild it on the fly. It doesn't want the drive to wait and try to recover it. So a RED drive will behave correctly in a RAID array, whereas a consumer drive such as a blue or a black or a green might not. Reason number three to choose a WD Red is the performance. Now, the performance is not something special compared to a black drive or an RE drive. Those are 7200 RPM drives. They are performance drives. This is more like a 5400 RPM part, which does yield you some power savings. And if you're running multiple drives in a single unit, that can make a difference for you over an extended period of time. And given that the bottleneck is actually going to be in your Ethernet connection, which is only going to run at gigabit for 99.99% of consumers today, or in the actual RAID chipset that's running in your NAS box, most of which are capable of maybe 50 to 70 megabytes per second of writes to the drives anyway, we don't need those high performance drives in this particular application. In fact, what we noticed is that in a RAID 5, between this old MyBook using a green drive inside and this Synology NAS using four WD Reds in RAID 5, we saw only a difference of 41 megabytes per second in the live. And with the Synology, we saw 47 megabytes per second. 
So what that means is that the performance of the drive is more than adequate for the application that we're using it for, and it's also optimized for small block I.O. So with a faster DDR2 cache on these drives, if you're reading and writing very small random data, you're going to see a significant performance improvement over something like a WD Green. And then for those large sequential reads and writes, you'll never see the difference anyway. So you might as well save a bit of power. Now the conclusion of this episode is pretty simple. If you're running a NAS environment, pick the red drive. If you're running in a RAID environment as a consumer, pick the red drive. It's really not that much more expensive than a standard green or blue drive. You get 24-7 tech support, a longer warranty, enough performance for what you're realistically going to be doing. I mean, even a several hundred dollar RAID controller in a large RAID 5 is not capable of writing more than around 70 to 80 megabytes per second, which this drive is fully capable of doing. And it's a fantastic value. Now, if you're in an enterprise environment, get an RE. It is higher performance. It does have an even longer mean time between failure, but it is very difficult to deny the success that WD has created with the red drive for the everyday consumer. We no longer have to deal with random incompatibility and that is a headache that nobody needs anymore. Thank you for checking out our episode on the Western Digital Red NAS Drive. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more reviews and videos like this one from your favorite retailer, NCIX.com.